I made a poll recently to see which desktop environment you guys use and here are the results. The highest vote is KT Plasma with 50% and Gnome with only 27%. As for this one, I decided to name other as in other desktop environments and it has only 23% with only 4% behind GNOME. Obviously, this poll could have had different results if more people voted. The reason why I made this poll is because one thing that fascinates me when it comes to using the Penguin is that there are many desktop environments like XFCE, Cinnamon, LXQT, Budgie, or Mate. But the two most popular, or should I say, the most frequently used desktop environments nowadays RKT Plasma and GNOME. So in this video, I'm going to compare these desktop environments from my experience and come to a conclusion, which one is better? First, let's talk about design philosophy. GNOME follows a simple, modern and distraction-free approach. It's designed to be clean and efficient, keeping things minimal and helping you focus on your tasks without unnecessary clutter. One of the biggest advantages GNOME has are simple and intuitive design. If you come from Windows 10 or 11, then chances are you are probably going to like GNOME. Since Windows has a simple GUI interface that makes it easy to use, GNOME also has this as well. In addition, it's very stable, focusing on a distraction-free workflow. So this desktop environment makes it not only easy for beginners who want to give Linux a try, but for any Linux user who wants to have a very stable desktop environment. This doesn't come with its own disadvantages. One of the biggest disadvantages GNOME has is that it has less customization out of the box. Yes, you can use GNOME extensions to basically add extensions to customize the GNOME desktop environment a little bit more, but it might not have all of the extensions you're looking for. And because of this, it can feel a bit restrictive to Linux enthusiasts who want to customize every single detail of their desktop environment. Another disadvantage when it comes to GNOME is that when a huge update comes out, depending on your Linux distro, these extensions can break after updates. So you'd have to basically wait for these extensions to get fixed when an update comes out. On the other hand, KDE Plasma is all about customization and versatility. If you like tweaking every little detail of your desktop, from themes to window behavior, KDE gives you that freedom. It's more like a build your own experience approach. And this is where KDE shines. It is highly customizable, suited for advanced Linux users and in general Linux enthusiasts. Another thing I forgot to mention when it comes to GNOME is that it can eat a little bit of your RAM and CPU, so in general it can eat some of your resources. Compared to KDE, it is very lightweight and efficient. And unlike GNOME, KDE Plasma follows more of a traditional desktop workflow. But the fact that KDE Plasma is highly customizable it can get a little bit too overwhelming with so many settings, especially those who are new to Linux and they chose KDE Plasma as, well, their preferred choice, obviously. In addition, it does get a lot of constant updates and these updates mostly are feature updates. But these feature updates can introduce occasional bugs since it's not the most stable desktop environment compared to something like GNOME. And lastly, this isn't a big disadvantage, but to some users, the UI may feel a little bit cluttered. So that's it. So to summarize, KDE Plasma is more lightweight and optimized for performance, making it a better choice for lower end hardware. GNOME, while stable and polished, can use more system resources due to its animations and background processes. However, on modern hardware, this difference is minimal. Okay, but what about gaming? Performance-wise, you are probably not going to tell a difference between KD Plasma and GNOME when it comes to gaming. 
But there is one big factor here, and that is the compositor. The system that handles animations and how windows are drawn on your screen. And that's where GNOME and KD Plasma take different approaches to this. GNOME uses a fixed compositor called Matter. This means the compositor is always running even when you are gaming. While this keeps everything looking smooth, it can introduce a slight input lag. However, GNOME does have a feature called Unredirect for Screen Windows which helps reduce the impact by minimizing the compositor's effect when a game is running in full screen mode. KD Plasma on the other hand uses KWIN and it's much more flexible. If you want to, you can actually disable the compositor while gaming, either manually or automatically when launching a full screen application. This may help reduce latency and can lead to better FPS in some cases. Alright, so which desktop environment is better? And the answer is neither of them. At the end of the day, both GNOME and KD Plasma are fantastic choices. It just depends on what you want in your Linux experience. And from my experience, I tend to switch between GNOME and KD Plasma because I don't have a favorite desktop environment. Both desktop environments have their advantages and disadvantages. But what's your opinion on that? And what's your favorite desktop environment? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and hit the notification bell for more content. It's your boy Jory and I am signing out. See you in the next video.